What did you want so badly to be good, but just wasn't? The movie version of, The Giver, I think Jeff Bridges did a great job, and it's a visually appealing movie, but they didn't need to add in the romance, they should have stayed true to the book. Also, they made the chief elder, who had barely any lines, into a major character, the book didn't need her as an antagonist, her addition made the movie feel much different than the book did. Moon Shoes I worked at a Goodwill taking donations in my early 20s. We got a pair of moon shoes on a slow afternoon, making sure no one else was around. I strapped those bad boys to my feet, ready to feel some magical, bouncy, childhood joy. My feet immediately sunk to the floor. My ashamed ass took them off, forgetting that they had a weight limit, that my adult self had far surpassed. Stupid moon shoes. Don't worry, fear awful. No matter what you can't even jump half as high as usual. Huge childhood let down. Always ended in rolled ankles or a face plant. The Dark Tower movie. Came here to say this. Akiva Goldman forgot the face of his fucking father with that mess. The fried chicken at Walmart. Like 4 out of 5 times I buy it. There's a restaurant in my town that serves a mushroom Swiss burger. Every time I go there I order it and think maybe this time it will be good. But it's always a disappointment. I don't why I keep doing it. Maybe it gave you brain damage, so you keep doing it. A beer that a local brewery made that was a white chocolate stout. It tasted like a bag of nickels. Smoky beers. I loo of smoky food. I was so excited. Usually ends up tasting like bacon left in the sun. Smoky beers taste like hot dog water. Pacific Rim Uprising. I just loved the first movie. But ugh. I can't watch it without cringing at the the kids. I always pick the wrong thing in restaurants and the badness seems to be directly proportional to my level of hunger. I feel bad laughing at your suffering, but the way you said this is just hilarious. Justice League. All I want is a live action Justice League movie with Dark Seed. Is that too much to ask? Yes. Backslash Warner Brothers. Riverdale. Everybody in my class liked it, but I hated it. First season was good. Second was a bit of a mess and the third one was a shichow. Red delicious apples. They're the rose art crayons of fruit. Absolutely worthless. I was a very nerdy little boy, and when my family was planning a vacation to Washington DC, the only thing I desperately wanted to see was the Library of Congress. I desperately wanted to walk through the shelves of the biggest library in the world and bask in all its literary glory, but when got there we discovered the horrifying truth. The public isn't allowed to walk among the books. Apparently, the Library of Congress is for Congress people. I was so disappointed that I cried. My parents tried to make up for it by getting me ice cream. But the ice cream didn't dull the pain. 30 years later, and still I mourn. Guess you run for Congress then. Only logical next step. The ending of The Walking Dead. After 4 or 5 seasons. I was really ready for a satisfying conclusion to our hero story. Instead, they slowly killed them all off, replaced them with new people I jaff about, and the damn thing is still on the air a half decade later. Has it ended yet? I stopped watching a couple years ago. Everything after the prison went very downhill. They just renewed it for an .11 th season I believe. Getting my first ever period, I thought somehow that it would be magical and that I'd be treated as an adult afterwards. Found out pretty quick, that it freaking sucks. It's going to be awful for 30 to 40 years, and then you'll hit menopause, which is supposedly worse. Can confirm this, it's so unexpectedly life jolting, like another round of puberty, but you're more tired and all your parts are wearing out. I just wish people talked about menopause more, it is such a completely unfair experience. My daughter wanted to play soccer this year after chilling the past two years. I've never been a fan of the sport, but I support my daughter 100%, so I became a soccer dad, and I hoped she would enjoy it, and it would be good. During the week she lives with her mom two hours from where I live, and then I normally get a Friday evening to Monday morning, but because of soccer games being on Saturdays I've been driving to the game, and taking her from there. I'm guessing since it's her first year playing the coach has her playing as a defender and she normally plays 5 minutes the first half and 5 minutes the second half. She gets frustrated, because she doesn't want to be a defender she wants to be scoring goals. Chilling was great, because it was full participation. 
I drive 2 hours one way to the game to watch her play maybe 10 minutes, and then drive 2 hours back, while she's in a bad mood, because she's a defender. I think she's going back to cheerleading next year. The finger quotes best player on the team finger quotes controls the ball a ton, scores lots of goals, and gets high fives. She's also the coach's daughter. At least you are kicking ass as a dad. Thank you very much. I never tire of hearing that. University, or at least, myself in university, it's fine for most people, perhaps even the best time of their lives, I thought it would help me turn a new leaf into a better, ideal version of myself, unfortunately, I can't stand the other students and I've somehow lost the passion for school I had 6 months ago, I want to drop out so badly, but that would just kneecap myself further. The Percy Jackson movies, basically a slap to the face. There was so much to work with. Adult life. I never thought it would be so lonely. I wish Deb had just fucking shot Dexter. I hated watching her life fall apart until death and Dexter straight up moving to Canada to become a fucking lumberjack or some fucking shit. At least it didn't end like the sob. Every relationship I've ever had. Relationships can be hard work. And they can take huge emotional tolls on you. I went through girlfriend after girlfriend thinking that all relationships were meant to fail early or, if they lasted, to be this wild, difficult mess that eventually spiraled out of control and crashed. It goes without saying that the common denominator was me. With some time and a lot of introspection and self-reflection I was able to become a better person. Eventually I found the right girl for me. She's perfect in every single sense. She's beautiful and she's kind. She supports me and everything about me. She accepts me for who I am, the good and the bad, and I'm never afraid to be true myself around her. Point is, she's special, and her goddess-esque stature in my mind is only enhanced because of all the shit I went through before I found her. Keep your head up, stay strong, and, with enough luck, it'll all be worth it. Every relationship is a learning curve and a chance for improvement, even if it fails. I've never seen a bigger contrast in maturity between a username and the post underneath it r slash rim job underscore steve anytime i go out to a fancy place to eat i guess it's just not my thing more of a taco truck and dive bar kind of person the new york jets every point fucking point season my cryptocurrency and the presents don't you think the ads are depressed enough nah those little fuckers have support systems we can only dream of Suicide Squad. Did you mean, Will Smith as Deadshot featuring gratuitous shots of Margaret Robbie's butt, with Cara Delevingne doing the most mediocre ballad and sing you've ever seen? Watch, as Jared Leto spends a year of method acting, and is rewarded with 7 minutes of screen time, to play the Joker who asks club goats if they want to fuck his crazy wife. 10 tenths. Did you mean 2.30 minutes? The non-existent last ebb and a movie. I personally believe that the movie was another version of that Fire Nation play. That is how I justify its non-existence. Most horror movies. I'm so tired of overused cliches. My drawings. Practice is key. You might not see the improvement, but over time you'll get better. Just keep on drawing my dude. Seeing Carnery was a good choice to play Alan Quartermain in League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. And adding Tom Sawyer as a character was kind of clever. Unfortunately, everything else about that movie sucked rotten goat balls through a rusty steel pipe. More recently, the Hellboy reboot. David Harbour is an obvious choice to play a younger Hellboy. Ron Perlman is brilliant, but is almost 70 years old. Unfortunately, the rest of the movie was pretty terrible. I love the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, but I won't defend it. It's just not a great movie, but it has always been a guilty pleasure of mine. I mean, I legitimately liked it. September 2019. I think that month was cursed. Oh god eg can't wait for cool weather. Backslash, 98 degrees for the entire month. Being an independent adult, you think being away from your parents and making your own decisions will be so great. Then the bills start piling up, the to-do list never gets fully cleared, and you long for the days of being a kid again with fewer worries in the world. One of the benefits of being raised in a dysfunctional family is that I don't long for my childhood, 